Eve Greenfield has already won $10,500. She is back to try to make it again to the photo sprint today on Scrabble. A 10-letter word. The clue is she walks around with her nose in the air. It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Flutterman. Right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Charlie Kuna. And welcome to the television version of everyone's favorite game. Uh, the home viewer word you just saw was sent in by Karen Newstrom from Duluth, Minnesota. And today, the jackpot in our bonus sprint stands at $5,000. The winner will get a chance that later on the show. Right now, Charlie has our first two players. She's our champion. He's a student. Originally from Manhattan, New York, Eve Greenfield. And originally from Speedway, Indiana, Brian Nine. All right, nice to have you both here. How are you, Eve? I'm just fine today, Chuck. Thank you. See, if I, as I recall, 10,500, is that where you are? That's correct. That's for one day's work. It was a hard day, Boy, though. Boy, I mean, really. <laughs> about 15 minutes worth. That's really nicely done. Thank you very much. Tell us about you. What are you going to do with all your money? Well, when I came to California, I bought what somebody told me was going to be a collectible car, uh -huh. an Italian. So I think that a fair amount of that money is going to go to make that car renovated. More collectible. More collectible. <laughs> yeah, Maybe right. I'll be able to afford to insure it now yeah. properly. Nice to have you. <laughs> Thank Good you. you. And Brian, tell me about yourself. Hi, Chuck. I'm a student at the University of Laverne in Laverne, California, where I'm studying history and hope to graduate in May. Uh, I just recently got engaged to my fiance Barbara, and I'd like to say hello to all the people in Indiana, family, friends, and everything else. How you doing? Oh, that's great. Well, it's nice to have you here. Who's the, you. You're the challenger. That's what I'm I should say, Brian. You're going to go first. We'll play Scrabble until someone gets three words right. That player goes on to our Scrabble sprint and have a chance to bonus worth uh, 5000 Take a look at the board as we set up for the first game. We're building on the letter A, nine letters in the word, and the clue is some stupid ones have passed in the house just before Christmas. Oh, gee. When you think you know the word, pink and blue bonus squares, all that kind of stuff, jump in there and try it. Okay, I'll take the one and the nine. The T. Some stupid ones have been passed in the house just before Christmas. The I. Oh, this is awful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one. Uh, oh. Ten and a two. E uh, or an E? The E. The other E. It's worth $500. Some stupid ones have been passed in the house just before Christmas. Mm. I want it, but uh, the four and the five. S or a U? Place the S. Some stupid ones have been passed in the house just before Christmas. I'm feeling like I'm a stupid one being passed here. Ah, uh, the U. Well, that's a stopper, Eve. I don't know it either. I'll have the eight and the three. L or an R. The R. Relative? Yes. Watch this. I don't get it. Whose uh, puzzle was that? That was a collaborative effort. Obviously, Gary wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> Building on the letter L in relatives, five letters in the word. The clue is some guys have found themselves in one over a football game. Maybe I ought to say this again. Some guys have found themselves in one over a football game. Okay, I don't know it right off the clue. Place the five and the seven. Him and an I. The I, please. $500. Some guys have found themselves in one over a football game. Some guys have found themselves in one over a football game. I'm going to take the six and the two. R or a B? The B. $500. Some guys have found themselves in one over a football Blimp. game. Blimp. Yeah. That's right, Brian. One, two, three, four, five hundred dollars. 
Gary, there are not going to be enough disclaimers read on this program to get you in good with your family ever again. <laughs> Building on the letter P and blimp, eight letters in the word, the clue is, it's not your cup of tea, Eve. It's not my cup of tea. Okay. Five, eight. O or an S? The S? T? The O? It's not your cup of tea. Hmm. Seven? Two. F for an E. The E, please. One thousand dollars. Espresso! That's exactly right, yes. All right, Brian was over here hoping you'd pick that F. He knew it. He knew it from the first, from the clue, I think he knew it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand. Yeah! I don't know, Brian. She picks those thousands off, I'm telling you. All right, Brian, building on the letter O in espresso, uh, six letters in the word. The clue is some youngsters get wrapped up in it. Some raptor? Well, well, some, yeah, some raptors, some raptors get youngsters get up, up in it. it. Uh, some youngsters get wrapped up in it. Some youngsters get wrapped up in it. Mm -hmm. uh, the five and the two. P or an N? The N, please. Well, there's $500 for you. Some youngsters get wrapped up in it. Uh, it's not hitting me yet, the P. Eve? Okay, the eight and the six. O and a C. The C. Some youngsters yeah. get wrapped up in it. The O. Well, okay. now you want to make money, take a I'm, chance, or what? Yeah, no, I'm going for that other thousand, Chuck. Okay. The four and the three. S and a C. And I'll take that C, please, for a thousand dollars. Boy, amazing. Right. She, just, she just doesn't miss. That's the second day in a row she's done that. Uh, well, Brian, you did well. You, you got $500 anyway, and our thanks. And good luck in your marriage right, thank and you. graduation thank and all you. that stuff. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> well, Give it to me, Jack. I mean, really. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand, two thousand, five hundred. 2,500. She's up to $13,000. I can hardly say it. We'll be back. Good for you. Good Thank you very much. Boy, Thank you. Talk about falling on the right side. <laughs> and now, back to Scrabble and Chuck Woolery. Steve Green Greenfield has $13,000. Going to establish a time. The winner of the next crossword is going to come up here and try to beat that time. Reminds you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. And no stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good. Old watch, isn't it? Yes. Is that old or is it a replica? No, it was my grandfather's. Oh, that's a wonderful watch. Yeah. It really Thank is. you. Yeah. Okay. First word, five letters. Some of them have dark glasses. Some of them have dark glasses. Ready? Ready. Go. M, L, S. Some of them have dark glasses. O. Limos. Yeah. Yeah. Second word, seven letters. It can be a riot. It can be a riot. Ready? Ready. Go. R. T. P. It can be a riot. T. S. Protest. Yes. Third word, eight letters. Some of them are real cream puffs. Some of them are real cream puffs. Ready? Ready. Go. R. A. P. Some of them are real cream puffs. Pastries? Yes. The last word, nine letters. A bench warmer. A bench warmer. Ready? Ready. Go. P. T. R. A bench warmer. S. Sportster? Oh, I had to take that chance. Oh. Cost you 10 seconds. Let's continue with the word. Okay. A bench warmer. Ready? Ready. Go. T. O. A bench warmer. Spectator. Spectator. Yeah, that's what you were looking for. Well, you took a chance. Got 44. You have 13,000. You can take lots of chances. <laughs> Let's uh, find out if that holds up right after this. Stay with us. Yeah, 44.8 is uh, That's a good chance.
Before we uh, carry on, uh, uh, Barendo Junior High School from Los Angeles is here, so we welcome you all. Thanks for coming to see the show today. We're going to meet two new contestants, and here they are. Charlie? She's a newlywed. He's a grad student. From Northridge, California, Lori Levin. And originally from Louisville, Kentucky, Stephen Fultz. All right, nice to have you both here. How are you, Lori? Hi, Chuck. Tell me about yourself. Well, Chuck, my husband and I have been married for three months now, and we're still deliriously happy. Well, that's nice. I'm a graduate student at USC studying journalism. Well, good for you, Laura. It's nice to have you here. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, Stephen. Hi, Chuck. Uh, we had a lot of people from Louisville on here the last, uh, gosh, the last three weeks, I guess, many people from Louisville. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah you're right. I've noticed a few myself. Yeah, tell me about yourself. Uh, I'm a student studying child psychology, and after graduation, I'd like to open my own office and deal with adolescents. In my spare time, I love sports, and I love collecting unfinished novels. Really? Oh. You buy a novel, you read half, you put it on the shelf, it's unfinished. Oh, I see. <laughs> I spent a lot of time finishing them up. Yeah, who won the toss backstage? I did. Okay, Laurie, let's go to the board. Building on the letter I, nine letters in the word. The clue is, good night. This is a paragraph. Theater goers who drink at intermission sometimes have trouble holding it till the end of the show. Okay, Chuck, let's try the eight and the four. Oh, I, I can never read this again. C or an I? Let's try the C. It's worth $500. Bear with me, Laurie. Theater goers who drink at intermission sometimes have trouble holding it till the end of the show. I don't know it. Let's try the I. Well, that's the last time I'm reading it. I just want to... <laughs> um, let's try two more tiles. The 7 and the 11. Another I and the T. Let's try the T, please. Let's place the I. Well, I know it, but I'm going to go for some money. Check. Okay, all three stoppers are up. Let's try the six and the two. Okay, let's place the R, please. Theater goers who drink at intermission sometimes have trouble holding it till the end of the show. I think the O's a stopper. Criticism? That's exactly right, yes. Palma. Stephen, building on the letter I and criticism, uh, there are seven letters in the word. The clue is some women say they wish they had theirs back again. Hmm. Some women say they wish they had theirs back again. All right, we'll take number three and number five. N or a T. Let's place the N. $500. Some women say they wish they had theirs back again. Place the T. I'll take the four and the seven. S and an R. The R. The R, please. The R. Stop her, Laurie. Okay, let's uh, try the two, please. S or a T. Um, place the S, please. Some women say they wish they had theirs back again. Um, I think the T's a stopper. Tonsils? Tonsils, yes. A request heard in doctor's offices all over the country. Now, who would... I, come on, but really, I mean, uh, have you ever known one woman audience that wanted their tonsils back again? Yes, you'd be well off with one. <laughs> Debbie, did, is this your puzzle, Deb? Of course you want your tonsils back again. Good night. Well, anyway, let's press on here. Stephen, you're zip, okay? Okay. Laurie's got two. Building on the letter T in tonsils, eight letters in the word. The clue is, it's, uh, it's one of those big words. It's one of those big words. Tile number three and tile number nine. E or an H? The H. Oh, stop her, Lori. Getting all the breaks. Okay, let's try the five, please. E or a G? Place the G, please. Please. Um, I'm going to try it. Gigantic. What? Gigantic. Yes, that's it. 
I thought she said gigantum there for a minute. What does this mean? That we have about a day and a half to kill, right? Yeah, I know what that means. Well, we have some, uh, we have some gifts for you. We have one gift for you. One gift. One gift, and it's, uh, well, Charlie will tell you about it. Stephen, for you, Bushnell's Wideview Spectator Binoculars, Instafocus System, and Poro Prism, a perfect choice for sporting events. Get every dramatic action-packed moment furnished by Bushnell. All right, well, I hope you enjoy the binoculars. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for coming on the show. Lori. You just rode roughshod over him. You realize that one, two, three, right in a row. Can I say hi to my husband? He's home with a flu. You can say hi to, to your your family and his. I think we okay. have time. Go ahead. There's my mom and dad in the audience. Hi. And my husband Scott. He's home with the flu. Hi. Hope you're feeling better. Anybody else? Um, my friend Ann in San Diego. And um. <laughs> Come on, think running of, out of friends. No, no, no. Somebody you went to college with. My huh? aunts, my uncles, Name my father-in-law Norman, my mother-in-law Marcia, my sister-in-law Bonnie, her husband Monty. That's good enough. Oh, okay. Thank you, honey. I'm we'll done. be back for Scrabble Sprint right after this. <laughs> Okay. Obviously, we have a little more time to chew up. I apologize for this, but you can blame it on Lori. She went through that last game so quickly. So, girls, ladies, if you don't mind, would you share this? Eve, start us off. If you folks out there want one of our T-shirts, send your clues along with your name and address to... Scrabble Clue, P.O. Box 67519, Los Angeles, California, 90067. I'm like I'm between a couple of professionals here or something. <laughs> We'll be drawing your clues at random, and if we read your clue on the air, we'll send you a t-shirt. And by the way, one size fits all. And indeed it does. All right, I'm going to leave this with you. We'll go on. Very nicely done. Okay. <laughs> Lori, relax, Lori. Am Lori, I nervous? Lori has been, no, no, she's oh. been like this since, we came, since I walked up here during the break. Play the same four words, remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock, and no stoppers. Any of these words, all the letters are good. Okay? okay. Here we go. First word, five letters. Some of them have dark glasses. Some of them have dark glasses. Ready? Ready. Go. M. S. I. Some of them have dark glasses. L. Limos? Yes. The second word has seven letters. It can be a riot. It can be a riot. Ready? Ready. Go. R. E. O. It can be a riot. P. S. T. Protest. Yes. The third word has eight letters. Some of them are real cream puffs. Some of them are real cream puffs. Ready? Ready. Go. R. T. I. Some of them are real cream puffs. Pastries? Yes, very nicely done. 21.3 left for the last word. Nine letters, 21.3 seconds. A bench warmer. A bench warmer. Ready? Ready. Go. P. R. T. C. A bench warmer. T. Spectator? Yes, that's exactly right. 2.4 seconds left over. You had plenty of time. 12.4. Well, she'd have got you anyway. She'd have had you anyway. Well, listen, Eve, you're going to leave us with $13,000, and that's not too shabby. Thank Congratulations. you, Chuck. Thank you. And uh, Lori Le Levin. <laughs> Lori Levin has $1,500. She's going to come back and try for five right after this. We'll be back. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. Don't leave. And now, back to Chuck Lori and today's winner. All right. Thank you, Charlie. Okay, Lori, what are you going to do with all this money, huh? Um, it's tax time. Tax time. Tax well, I'm time. looking at this. Come on, let me see this thing. Look at this. Been married how long? Um, three months. Deliriously happy, she says. <laughs> well, this looks like a landing light for the Concord, this diamond. I mean, good night. He does all right, huh? <laughs> okay. Two words under 10 seconds, and uh, this is for $5,000. Okay. Good luck. Thanks. First word, six letters. Sometimes you won't hear a peep out of them. Sometimes you won't hear a peep out of them. Now watch me. Sometimes you won't hear a peep out of them. Okay? Okay. Ready? Go. 
C. C. Sometimes you won't hear a peep out of them. Chicks. Yes. Oh, get you to get, that's the only English peep, peep, peep. Oh, if you can get this one, I'm telling you. Seven letters. It's a place of milk and honey. It's a place of milk and honey. It's a place of milk and honey. Ready? Ready. Go. R. G. No, keep going, keep going. Y. R. Oh, if you could have picked that G first, what was it? The G is the first Grocery? letter. Grocery, yeah, milk and honey and bacon and eggs and all that. Yeah, it was like a list. All right, well, bonus goes up to 6,000. Laurie will be back tomorrow, and that's all we have time for today. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. Starring Chuck Woolery is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scrabble Brand crossword game. This is Charlie Tuna speaking. Will Nick Price make golf history? Stay tuned as the two-time PGA Player of the Year goes for three in a row at the Motorola Western Open. Right after this USA Update, next. Production.